ve Tatiana and Alexandra interview uh, Dmitri Nikolayev. Woo! Yay! And then in the ballroom backstage it goes like this. How are you? Hello. I am, uh, I'm actually awesome. Uh, oh, I see. I see my wife. She. And why are you turning camera wife? on you? Listen. It's so good to see, see you. Oh, by the way. Ah, great. We're trying to separate the stage. Yeah, we. She gave me the. Uh, I love. I love. I love coffee. <laughs> and she gave me a very nice cup to to drink my coffee. Uh hey hey Boyka. Boyka, can you just walk into the frame of your wife and not text from the toilet? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I I I bet he's in the shower like so. Oh, and you know what? No 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 no. no. Usually you we ask a very good ideas. question. <laughs> <laughs> you have wrong ideas. He's doing something else. But let's see. It's not about him today, so we have to focus on you. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Don't don't change the turn. This is actually very uh very unusual because usually I ask you all the, the, exactly. all the questions and I'm I don't know what to answer actually. I don't Just sit say. down and relax uh, and be good. <laughs> I don't think he is very relaxed right now but <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. I will, I will try. Okay. So okay. first of all we want to know um who's Yeah, no, we would like to know whose idea was to start the ballroom backstage. Why? Uh, <laughs> did you you got this idea uh from watching some show or you just said that said one day and yes, realized and why? that why ballroom backstage? Why that name? Uh so the whole idea actually that's a combination of things to be honest, right? Uh we have talk shows, we have interviews and all sorts of sports right basketball uh hockey formula one gymnastics everywhere and we don't have it in ballroom dancing but sure. the whole story was i was one time when we got together with babette and she was judging at the competition and i was there and i felt absolutely useless and i thought okay what a useful thing i can do <laughs> it's good when you feel bad it motivates you to do something it did it it totally did so uh I picked up the camera actually there was I think the first one was iPhone. I picked up my iPhone and I started to do that and uh it was very interesting it was very successful right away because I think it's back then there was not much happening in in United States social media ballroom scene whatsoever. Mm-hmm. So there was only Super Shark who was doing who was doing all the clips mm-hmm. all the dancing but there was no real insights of no interviews and then I started to do that so Yeah, you so fulfill cool. that gap we were missing in our ballroom industry. Yeah, yeah it's awesome that you do that. Um I love it personally and I think it's think it's so cool when you're not there like at the competition or whatever you get the whole insights and it's just it's it's really nice. You you find yeah, out thanks. information sometimes you don't want to find out but you it's know. good to know. <laughs> <laughs> but do you okay, feel do you feel the competition what? right now because uh, more people started doing it? uh and uh no we actually you know the like the funny part i i i feel and that's what i tell to all to all to all the dancers you have to we have to be all like you have to be all on the same page and be and be friends because sooner yeah. or later you're all gonna judge and you're going and you're all gonna hang out at the same parties i did a big mistake early in my life when uh i was competing i was competing against those people mm-hmm. and, I, and i really hey, weren't Laura. really friends with them and now actually with people who I competed and I was really like enemies now we really good we yeah. talking we you know we It's talk. true more you know about a person like it's it's like it's easier to to get on like some kind of page with each other and not feel threatened and not feel no worried or whatever <laughs> Right? Look at this. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, Hello, Laura. Yeah. And, even and Europe is joining part, us. Even Europe, that's good. So, and the funny part is that in uh, filming too, so everybody tells me, oh, this is your competition or or, or the filming too. Mm-hmm. I like collaborations. And as you know, I have good relationships with nine out of ten people who are filming. We actually finding stuff what we can do all together that uh and I actually truly think we're all doing absolutely different thing. 
like how do you manage to to keep a good relationship with them uh because i truly not competing i do my own thing but people might you know still yeah uh, people think compare your work with their work please please uh, please do that my my passion is behind the scenes i love to show you guys i love to show your personalities i love to show uh something different about dancing i uh, you know I have true passion to for what I do and there is a reason for it. Well, you definitely I'm... show it from Thank different you. angle that yeah. nobody's shown it before. That's for Perfect. sure. It's awesome. And that's Perfect. the reason why uh, I'm not competing because if somebody else doing such a cool thing, they might have a reason and they're still doing it in a different way. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. know, like that's what I wanted to say, like dance today or motion capture or Slava Panache. We all in the same business, like we're all in both of them. Exactly. Dance. Yes. We're all doing different stuff. Right. And you know, I had also the question to you: What do you think makes you special compared to all of them? But you <laughs> kind of, you kind I'm of special. answered that. Uh, <laughs> you that's compete. true. Is there anything else? Why do you think you're special? Why why are you different? Honestly, I don't know. I think. I don't consider even, and my wife can uh can I know. confirm that. Yeah. Okay, tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Because it's hard to answer for yourself, but like for me it's you're very respectful of privacy of people and you're am, very yes. good about it Ma- and you rule, always rule number 1, don't do shit. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and you're very friendly too. You make people you. feel comfortable, so that's good. Thank you so much. Thank mm-hmm. you. I uh, you know I don't know it's like the my wife can uh, she can confirm it I don't I don't consider my work as being special I consider that I work with the most talented people in the world because the amount of corrections I give like when I film you guys the I give you corrections I give you pointers and you do this on the spot we don't have take one take two take three we're doing it right professional. away professional and you guys doing it right away so I uh, After me filming the movie with Ricardo, I started to realize, damn it, I'm, I'm actually working with the most talented people in the world. Yes. And who are not professional actors, but they actually do all the corrections, do all the things I do, and we're able to create something amazing. So On the spot. I don't yes. consider that it's 100% me. I think, uh, you know, it's all the collaborations, what we do. You know, when I film you, you know, you give some suggestions when I film the, By the way, that video was Maxim so Petiana. awesome. The, uh, the retirement. The Ricardo uh, and Yulia. You should post it again sometimes because some people you. didn't get a chance to see it. So it would be nice. It's actually on Facebook page. It's on YouTube. Just You can you can go to Bowling Backstage Facebook yeah. page and it's pinned uh, yeah. on the top. So uh, anything. Yeah. All Enough right. about well, somebody else. Let's ask him some personal stuff, okay? Yeah, please, All right. Please. Do you want to go? I'm, or do listen, you I'm actually, I'm you, super shy. You're going to start. Asked, Sunchka, you, you're going to start. I never been asked about myself because I always ask you guys, and now I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> please. Well, first of okay, all, I'm gonna... not, not that many people know that you've been a dancer and you've been a Latin dancer, yes. if I yes. remember that correctly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think... Sasha, Sasha is Sasha, loading, but Sasha, are, you, are you here with us? So Latin is that I'm the back, only I'm back, style I'm you did? To my notes. Yeah. <laughs> She's going to her notes. Uh, I I think this is creativity and vision, imagination, what makes him special and unique. That's my wife. Oh, <laughs> so sweet. Hey, hey, hello, Donna. Hey, Donna. How are you? I'm sorry. Hi, Sasha. everybody. Oh, hey, Basha. Right. Yeah. The question, okay. right? Yeah. Wait, okay. he actually... I, I didn't hear the question. <laughs> yeah, we didn't hear anything. Sorry. Okay, so the question is, when you think about a person, what, like, inspires you about a person and what really, like, irritates you about a person? Nothing irritates me, to be honest, about any dancer. And it's... I'm, I, I'm just... <laughs> like, no, I'm, I'm serious. I've just been completely honest. No matter whom I film, and, um, like, if you notice, every time I film somebody, the music is different. Every yeah. time I film somebody, the the speed is different because every single couple is is. Let's very, say very in not when you're filming, just in regular. Ah, okay. When I okay. Uh, What music would you play right now, sitting next to me? <laughs> sitting next to piano. piano. Oh, uh, love okay. piano. What What inspires me in people is their uh, determination and um, what they do every single day. 
Okay, cool. Uh, in, a, in, in a very difficult, and that's my very will help someone now, uh, in a difficult time when I had a lot to film, like back to back to back to back, you have to find creativity mm -hmm. from somewhere. What's helped yes. me on YouTube, there is a bunch of great motivational speeches from amazing people. And sure. it's a, a great compilations. I was listening this throughout January, February, because I had very difficult period to to uh, to film i was listening that every single morning and it inspires you uh in the next you know in five minutes you're just all buzzing and you and you're ready to do stuff cool. that inspires me a lot so what what actually people do to overcome their troubles yeah because every every one of you and us had a difficult yeah. time even would you if, would yeah. you say i'm sorry to interrupt you i just thought that would uh help to open the question would you um say that if someone is gossiping about somebody or talking bad it irritates you one more time if somebody if someone is gossiping bad things negative yeah. things about somebody does it irritate yeah. you no what is your no, reaction what fine. what do you usually do do you keep conversation with them do you, uh, or if you I don't just... like it i don't i don't keep the like i don't keep the conversation if i don't like it uh, uh, yeah. as you know i talk to lots of dancers so lots of people so my job is to be very confidential in a lots of stuff i know lots yeah. of, when i film i get to see a lots of private things which yeah. is very often not supposed to be on camera because uh it's just very personal so yeah. i have to be very confidential so um gossiping doesn't really bother me if that's not blindly not true or somebody is really mistaken i just gonna say you know what that's that's really bullshit Yeah, uh, if it's exactly. just funny because you know sometimes you just can just have a fun stuff you just have yeah. fun time yeah. and yeah yeah yeah, yeah. that's Somebody's cool asking uh oh if, we have a russian question look yeah, at this if tomorrow, hey guys if uh if tomorrow somebody's gonna ask you a very uh oh, provocation uh, no. uh, so, so oh, hold on first uh, of all <laughs> to people who don't understand the question because the question is in russian uh he's asking so if he's gonna start when he's gonna start in interviewing people and he will be asking uh provocational um questions uh, in order to build up the audience uh views uh yeah. would you do that would, would you no. do that so my i have some principles then i will <laughs> so i have pro I, i have some principles so that's and that's why we're coming to 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 the interesting ground i um, rule number one don't do shit all right uh, rule number we two, that. That. <laughs> yeah. so, rule number two is do something which is uh shows that person and inspires people so yeah. Yeah, I not going I never went for the views. And every people who I all people who I work with, including the video people, uh my colleagues, they know that. Mm -hmm. Um uh, That's awesome. You know, I it's not what I it, it's again and the reason being is not what I like to do. Mm -hmm. I have a reason why I'm filming, why I'm filming somebody arrivals or somebody interview. I want to show them from different side. I want to show their world. I I want to inspire people. I don't want to, you know, ask them did you wipe your ass? Did you like ever this? feel like you helped somebody when they are in partnership and you were filming and let's say they're practicing and having a hard time? Did you ever feel like you helped that couple to overcome that? Are you mean to overcome the, the arguments? Argument? Like let's say you're filming a couple and this couple is having a hard time doing a stuff for you on a on a film. Have you ever okay. felt like you helped them to overcome um you know that that stress? Yeah. All all, all the time because I know myself to be in front of the camera like I like I I'm right now it's difficult. Is it? I I mean, it's nerve wracking because you I even gave you coffee in a special cup yeah, in that special cup. I love this cup. Um, Be careful you're going to spill it. <laughs> I think that's a work of director. So when you work yeah. with somebody, when you work with somebody let's say who's filming you and who's directing you, you have to trust them. Yeah. So, and if they not able to direct you in the right way which helps you to overcome these difficulties or doubts. Mhm. Mm you know, mm -hmm. So my job is when I film is to help you to be ready to be prepared and to overcome and you, you know, do and you do help us it's all it always feels very always. Always. comfortable at, at your interviews no pressure and the yeah. questions are always relevant to the subject but and they're interesting that's the point you know when you have that goal kind of the reason 
coexistence, yeah. then it's easier. So basically, he's perfect in his job. But no, I'm not perfect we are here to find out some uh, more personal things. Because we keep coming back to dancing discussion, guys. I don't want to do that. I want to find out. How did you start dancing? And um, how, how was your dancing, dancing career, actually? Nobody knows that. Nobody knows that. He was a Latin dancer. Yes. yes. yes For how many years? I've no, seen actually, the video. Uh, there's, there's, there's a bunch of on, on YouTube. I actually danced. My career was 2000 to 2000. When, when me and Bobet 2001. <laughs> no, um, 2000 to 2013 or 14. Uh. It's kind of like that. I was competing. Uh... Thank you, Zhenya. Oh, you. Eugene Kasman is a good <laughs> dancer. Uh, I was who, competing... me or him? <laughs> <laughs> you. Uh, I was competing for Belarus all, all my life. Uh, it's who, who doesn't know Belarus? It's a small country next to Russia between... The... Ukraine, right in the middle of the Europe, it's not as big than Austria. So, who is good in geography? So, <laughs> so anyway, I was dancing there and I was competing at almost all of the world and European championships. So, if I was with Babette, at, uh, no, no, with that my, time with was... my other partner, her name was, her name was Julia, and uh, actually, was I was honored to compete with you with Eugene Katzemann on some, <gasps> on some European and World Championship. By the way, there's a the connection. Hero. Was he was he you know I know? Uh, or, in a way, or... he's a, he was. Uh, I remember Eugene. By the way, I remember there was. Uh, I was remember that's amazing. It was it was uh, Austrian Open World Championships where you had this black outfits and you had amazing Pasadena. <laughs> A routine. It was very. Uh, it was. I, it was. It was European. I think. No, I think there was war. Doesn't matter. Doesn't I think matter. I remember that outfit. And it's. Uh, it was eight couples in the final. Surkov was eight, uh, and uh, it was just amazing. I was there live. I could not really dance, but I was there. It was just yeah. so inspiring, actually. So that's. They, one yeah, they they are amazing with Masha. I love their dancing. And how did you move to the United States? Uh I moved to United States in 2010, right after my World Championships. Mm -hmm. It was 2010 was uh, was Amateur World Championships in New York, uh, hosted I, I believe by Gary by Gary McDonald. Um, mm -hmm. I was there, danced it, and then after that I decided I want to try. What does it mean to Americans don't dance European? Yeah, so that's yes, yes, Eugene. So that was a, a World Championship. So anyway, uh, I decided to try. Uh, what does it mean to work in United, like to work in the United States? You wanted and, to uh, find out, yeah. Yeah, and then I came to actually to further stare in Connecticut. Oh. So, <laughs> mm. Yes. I've Who was there. the owners I, of the studio? Martin and Gina Gotcha. I Martin. don't know them. Okay. Yeah. So, but anyway, um, <laughs> That's fine. it was a very good studio to be honest. But I wasn't ready. I didn't expect. I didn't know what to expect. So, and yeah. my expectations. Were very different so I was I can relate to that because the first studio I worked with it was Arthur Murray studio and I had no English and it was the funniest thing ever to hear me or see me teach so I'm sure you experienced that oh yeah I mean I, I'm experienced I was like after the lesson you know instead of asking somebody uh, oh you are sweating or you are perspiring a little I was asking are you wet we all had that. Uh, until somebody told me, like, you can't really say it. I'm like, what the hell do you say? We all so, had Are you wet? Are you, are you, wet? Yeah. Are you guys wet, by the way? You look like you're not struggling at all at the oh, it's so wet. You look great. Uh, you know what? I think the quarantine here in Los Angeles is very different than anywhere else because it's yeah. like a big village. So it's less. Uh, Do you think so? Florida is also kind of good. I don't know. A lot of space. I, mean, I felt here is less restriction so far, uh, but we're all keeping a distancing. So and I you can see. I <laughs> don't get me wrong. I'm super happy to see you both do well. I was just kidding. You know? uh... <laughs> Sashka, your next question. Okay, hold on a second. Okay. 
Don't read my question. He's reading my... I think she, I think she, got, uh, she goes stuck. because she, she, she didn't notes. prepare. She's looking at the notes and back. This ah, is not professional. You have yeah, to write it perfect. down. I'm she not perfect play. today. Today I'm just like 80%. Okay. So anyway, <laughs> what would be the first thing or the first person you would want to see after quarantine is over? I know you're with Tatiana now, but just in general... <laughs> You're not able to socialize so much. So true. <laughs> what would yeah. be the first thing you want to do or a person you want to see after this is over? Uh, I like coffee shops. Probably I, w- I would go to the nice bike ride and I uh, would go into a coffee shop. That's that's for sure. Person I want to see after that. I'm thinking most of the time right now when, when the travel ban will be lifted so we can all travel home and see our friends and families there. Hey, Yuki. Yeah. Yuki just joined. Hi, Yuki. Uh, to see our friends and families because uh, that's kind of very unsettling now. But you see them on FaceTime every day. It's different. Mm-hmm. It's different when you when you get to hang out with them, you know. Yeah. In in, in the real time. I guess it's... Uh, yeah. I guess that would be my answer. Okay. Listen, guys, <laughs> I'm just gonna share with you something funny. I think it's really mm-hmm. funny. So today I saw on Facebook this mother she's home with two kids right and she's picking up the camera and she's videoing them and both of them are shaved on the back of their hair head halfway so, so yes she found uh, i guess they found the uh, you know the machine and they did it and uh, she's like crying but laughing at the same time you know watching them so for all the mothers with two kids at home sorry about that you know It's not, <laughs> it's not easy. Well, you're in the same situation, no? Yeah, by the way, yeah we have one, and um, it's okay. It's like we're, we're, you know, between each okay, other. Okay, tell me fine. honestly. Okay, okay, now I will interview. Okay, oh, tell oh, me oh, oh. How is Boyko as a father? Is he, like, is he good? <laughs> Just tell me privately. He's not watching anyways. He's honestly, like watching Netflix, you right. guys gonna think that I'm sweet. Which I am sweet, but <laughs> so um, she, okay. <laughs> I think he's but there is a but. So he's you incredible, now, you really. Destroyed your image. You just yes. right now. You destroyed the image. You think I'm sweet, but really I'm not. Okay. Yeah. But she changed to her because so she doesn't anyway, talk about him. Yeah. Um, I think he's incredible because I don't know when Alexander is with Boyko, they're like the best friends ever. Uh, they're quiet, they have their thing going on. Every time I'm with Alexander, I'm like, you know, trying to entertain him and everything. And and he makes noises and sometimes not the best noises. You know, he, <laughs> he gets loud, da, da, da. So he has a way with him. I have like a different way with him. Of course, I'll always, always will be his mom. Do, but... you, uh, do you tell Boyka to leave Barbies alone so he doesn't style their hair? <laughs> Actually, he's been playing with brushes a lot lately, and that looks funny. Yeah, we saw how he drew eyebrows yesterday. I, I, I watched it. I, I, I would love it. Yeah. Um, okay, Dimitri, okay. uh, coming back to you. Uh, yeah. We all know you as a very positive, funny, open yeah, person. I'm not, I'm not. And uh, I, I would like to know, do you have any ne- negative sides? I do. Uh, and I, if I you have... I think that's a Those, question to my wife. What a, no. I would like to know what you think about yourself. Do you have any ne- negative side? Yes. Uh, I think my brain is the most negative part of all. I have to all constantly work on myself to keep myself on check, not to be lazy, to be positive. Mm-hmm. And because we coming, you all know, we're coming from Eastern European mentality. Mm-hmm. So for me, I think, Uh, being actually, I know no, nobody knows that I dance all my life, but I dance all my life really hardcore, and that's really what I do. Mm. And for me, going into real world after when I stopped was just a shocker, and I was in that mentality, everything on everything on, on nothing. Even right now, it resembles throughout my video, everything on nothing. And it's just I see that, yeah. Very, because very often it is very dis- distracting and disturbing. But how is that negative side? You're not lazy? You, you, 
So you're pushing it. I, I'm pushing laziness myself. is your weakness. Uh, yeah, I mean, a laziness and uh, be able to go into ne- into negative thinking. That's that's what I would say. That's so normal, that's really... Dima. Come on. Guys, whoever is watching, uh if you would like to ask him a question, please uh I have a question I want to ask. Send a message. Yeah. So, um I feel like they this they This is kind of uh goes back to your um to your teenager years. Okay? So teenager. when you teenager <laughs> years, when you were a teenager, remember uh-huh. that time? Of course. The yes. Time. So the what time. was the most you would say like outrageous or crazy thing you ever done as a teenager maybe you've done it to your mom or dad or your sister or whoever stuff in the school you know like with or draw to yourself the... I chill the over teacher I know, or... I know what a crazy th- I mean it's probably not the craziest for anyone anyway. I wasn't really outrageous kid to be honest I wasn't that uh uh I wasn't that like adventurous anybody. I I, I never okay I never been drunk in my life so never oh. ever seen me drunk in, in my life I always drove my friends drunk from the parties and that's like me. uh that's kind of it. But the one I would try just things I did, I took my mom's car when I was 16 and I was driving it to dance practices. I was driving until 20 years old without driver license. I've been stopped by police many times. I've paid my fines and so on. I've been one a one time car was uh taken from me. on the street uh by by police because I I was 17 and I didn't have driver license. So um that's amazing I, actually. I that's that's a lot of to, I blindly <laughs> refused <laughs> to go and to pass driver license because I I deemed it I deemed it uh unnecessary or it was like there was too too many questions about drinking since I wasn't drinking. I said I don't need it. So I'm yeah. just really driving and so on. Uh that's I think that's Now I'm way. scared. Now I know more <laughs> about you. So who knows in four years what are you going to come up with? <laughs> Nothing. How tell many... us about your parents? Oh, tell us about your parents. Okay. I, uh okay. Uh my mom she is in dancing so my parents were dancing but they never pushed me to dance. Uh-huh. Mom, uh great she's a great great chore- choreographer she has cool. uh she and worked with yeah. she lives in Belarus yeah, yes oh, in, both parents are in Belarus in, in Belarus she right now works at the state circus i don't, I don't know it's like circus du soleil and she is overseeing the whole production so like she's a mm, wow she's a director she does the whole shows uh and before that she was working with different productions too uh traveling um on different sets creating shows she's very creative super creative actually and the one of the she always watches my videos she's the best and the biggest critic, critic. of my work and I can if, understand that <laughs> yeah and if she will not you know, like something she she will like like what the hell this is not good this is not a quality like um, or somebody would expect it mm-hmm. uh my dad they got divorced very early and i was raised by my stepdad mm-hmm. uh which i'm very thankful to uh he was the best dad I, I could i could ever have uh they they split after a while he actually here in united states uh we we keep in touch and uh that's kind of a short story again mm-hmm. you know uh that's it. that i mean they were very supportive throughout my career for dancing and uh for whatever i did but i really, i i was raised without them because they were always traveling and but that is she your first wife Who knows maybe you were yeah, no, she is my first wife and how long you've been I'm glad, together I, I'm glad that she didn't ask if she's your main wife <laughs> is 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 she the only one she's the only one uh, is she your only you've been together wife or or you have other women just kidding <laughs> no i don't have other women actually I'm that's too long. funny uh, 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 oh my god we have a, this long uh, Dima, are you wet no i'm not wet on this no <laughs> <laughs> not yet. The interview is not over, guys. Uh, Dima, yeah. but I'm asking about the wife actually. But you... how many years we are together? He, no, he should know. If know he's not going to answer that. I don't know about our wedding anniversary. I know it's January 14th, but what year I really don't know. I'm bad on dates. I hold Okay, we don't care about the date. How many years you've been together? And when did you meet her? 
I met her 2011. Uh, Don't read it! She said no. <laughs> we met her in 2011. Uh, we, we met at the competition. She was judging. I, I was dancing pro am and I hit on her. That's a true story. And how did you start the first conversation? What was your pickup pick up line? Said, she said, no, wrong. Why wrong? <laughs> What's it's great. <laughs> Guys, wrong? don't fight, okay? Uh, By the up. way, are you P fighting now line. more? Are you no. fighting now more or less? In the last two days, I, uh, in the, yesterday we got an, into argument and then we kind of... I, I think we got a breakthrough in our conversation because we're really different in our mentalities. Uh -huh. And I think we're doing better now. Yeah. yeah. Thanks to Corona. To fight but... <laughs> coronavirus, I tell you. No, we fight. All, no, we fight all the time about everything because she's very opinionated. I'm very, I'm very opinion, opinionated, and uh, it's just so funny. You know, we we will be on our even even about filming. She will. She she's a great actually. Uh, <laughs> she's a great critique of my work too, and we will very often fight about what I'm stand for, and she's like, no, it's not. Like no, you cannot do this. I'm like, like of course I me. can. I I gonna do this, and we will, you know. Yeah, yeah. I can but, relate but to I that too. We, <laughs> interestingly enough, we will we fulfill each other good because mm -hmm. uh, she's very she's an inspiring person. She's very inspiring. yeah. She, I by agree. the time I will think to do something, she she already done it. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody yeah. asking who is your favorite I like judge? Her, like... Are you asking? Are you asking me, Tatiana, or Alexandra? Of course you, because it's your interview. I don't know. Anyways, uh, while this person is texting us who he would like to ask the question, I will ask you my question. Okay. Uh, what would you like to try in your career besides what you do right now? What do you mean? In dancing? Or in, uh, in general, generally. Maybe you would like to um, try yourself as an actor or maybe you would like to film a movie. I'm horrible as an actor. I'll be honest with you. Uh, it was just an example. I'm not telling you what to I wanna try do acting. Is, truly, I never worked on a big set films. I never worked with a big set production. I've been there, I've seen it, but I, but I haven't. So, yeah, I would love to be the really world class. Like really, when you do your job and it's just like first top notch, and that's. But what stops you to go to big companies today and apply for a job? And. Uh... Because I need to film your retirement. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know yet, actually. That's a good question. And, and right now I'm really thinking about it because now it's coronavirus. I like, pardon, uh, Paul Backstitch is off, laid off for the job probably until next year, guys. So it's probably not going to happen until I. This I coronavirus know. is. So, uh, go away. So it's probably Paul Backstitch as, as of right now is kind of temporary out of work which is yeah. okay, but then I'm really thinking maybe i uh, apply. My, actually, I really try, uh, and I tried. You ask what I, uh, I'm sorry, guys, I will do switch. My dream was always to have live broadcast of the World Championships, which we did. Yes, dream came true. Uh, after that, I told to, I told to Bobette, uh, I, came, I came home when we had a meeting with, with the World Championships. I came home and I said, even after this, I will die. I did everything what I wanted in my life. Wow. So that's awesome. that was the, wonderful. You know. So, who is my favorite judge? Dallas is no, asking. Yeah, hold on. So uh, what is your judge? favorite food? No, first, who is your favorite judge? My, uh, I don't have any. Honestly, me neither. I don't have any. It's uh, nobody asks me, but it's, yeah, it's just letting you know. I don't. I don't really know. I don't have any. I think, honestly, I started to understand how difficult the job is and how what they need to do in order to function. Because I see it in Babette all the time, and I see now. Would you like to judge? I, know, I I wanted when I was a kid, and now I don't. Uh -huh. I when, and we talked to Babette. She's like, "Oh, you still can judge." I'm like, "I like what I do. I want. Mm. I think I I more." It's useful a hard job do. to do. It like is a hard stuff. job, especially for you girls, not for us guys. For you girls, because you have to be pretty. You have to be pretty no matter have what. To you have to stand on the heels. You have to stand on the heels for like so many hours. This is very difficult. That's okay. Yeah. We get the most compliments too, so that's fine. <laughs> So my favorite food, uh, Danas. I love Italian food. I love right now pocky a lot. I eat a lots of pocky, but not uh, but not uh, not right now. You uh, can you make a pocky at home? Have you tried? Uh, 
I try it because I've been given fish. That's it. It's just very easy. You chop the fish and, and put it yeah. on, on top of the rice. But because today became I was vegetarian, thinking, uh, sorry to um, interact again. Uh, I was thinking I really want sushi, and I'm going to order online order. very yeah. soon. Very soon. <laughs> nice, nice. Boyka is asking a question. Who is your favorite person that you did interview with? Who is the one you never bought? Oh, that's the next you question. Know? First question, mm. who was your mm. favorite person that you interviewed? Mm. Just remember who is sitting next to you. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> no, no, no. I, um, no pressure, no. I don't know. Boyka, that's a good question. And um, everybody had a very interesting stuff to say. I don't know, Boyka, honestly. I really don't. It's not because I try to be... Politically honest. correct. No, no, I really don't know. Uh, I, I, I really don't, seriously. It yeah. depends on... It. I think... Hmm. But if, let's say, if right now, who is the first person, um, the interview with who you remember? Maybe somebody recent. The first person, yeah. Not even recent, but somebody you remember. Because you've done so uh, many... Or something that was, made I had a very like... fun interview. I Yes, Boyka, I love you. Yes, a lot. Uh, and I truly love him, actually, because he's super fun. Uh, but if I close my eyes and I remember the fun interview we, we once did was with Nevena and Alexander, the Dancing Smooth. And we did an interview and Alexander saw that actually we were rehearsing. But we recorded, ah. but we recorded the interview, so that kind of was coming back to my mind. Uh-huh. And then another part of his question is, uh, who is the one you never interviewed, but uh, you would love to? Who is that person? Mm. Mm. Babette. Oh, I did. No. I, I many did. times. I did many times. No, I, 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 did, I did many times. I have been once. Um, I want to talk to Jackie Chan. <laughs> okay. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, Jackie Chan. I want to do interview with Schwarzenegger, uh, Jackie Chan, like those those people. Uh huh. That's yeah. Interesting. Well, go ahead. No. I want to talk to you, Boyka, but when you have no filter on. <gasps> oh, that here yeah, he answered Jackie Chan. Yeah. So, Shulchka, do you have any other questions? Because I want to um, kind of move to our quiz, the What's the short venue? vlog. Look, 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 okay. What's your I'll... dream venue? Sorry. What is that? Danis is asking, what's your dream venue place go, in the entire go, go, world go, go, would you go. like to film? Huh. His bed. <laughs> I would say, you know, Danis, it's not where I want to film, it's how I want to film. Right now, I want to film uh, a lot in Hawaii, and I want to film something on air or underwater. Mm. So, oh, dancing under the water. Dancing under the water. I had this idea for you, but I don't oh, know. Don't reveal it. I don't have that. How to, you know, how how to make it happen yet? So. Oh, I know. Be careful what you wish. No, Boyka, I know what I wish. <laughs> <laughs> Because I think the Boyka would be a very good host for live events if he wouldn't have a filter. Yes, I think he's working say, on it. <laughs> he's working on it because it's Monday, Wednesday, Friday now. Uh, at five o'clock, he goes live yeah, yeah, with yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, so he's getting there. <laughs> Aquaman. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm not sure if we have. Um, let's do a quick answer on this. So right now is uh, coronavirus, and yeah. everybody having different different difficulties at home, or maybe the best time of their lives. What do you think? This one thing that everybody should do to like feel amazing and feel not stressed during this time? A lesson, positive and motivational shit and read books. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> I do none of that. But... <laughs> Because I mean, I mean, for some people that's, you know, some people go, going through that much easier, some people not. I took that time as soon as it hit. I was like, that's time right now to educate yourself, to kind of take and think about what we're actually doing and why mm -hmm. we're all heading. And that's what I'm trying to do, right? What I'm trying to do right now: learn something new, you know, read something new, you know, kind of educate yourself, and get inspired, you know, even so when you. Hawaiian dance, I have for you inspiration. <laughs> Thank you. We we moving to the fa my favorite part of the interview. It's a Vogue style Vogue style question. So quick questions. I have to answer them very quickly as well. Okay. Um, very easy. Okay. And uh, try to answer as uh, quick as you can. 
I tell me when you're ready. I am ready. Okay. okay. So, what is your favorite part uh, in your job? Show me. Arrivals. Uh, name one of your hobbies. Biking. What do you miss the and most yoga. in life? What I miss, I miss, miss most. What do you mean, uh, like every day? Like yeah, today. What do you miss the most in life? Your parents, your job, your whatever. Your gear. today beach. Okay. Today beach. <laughs> um, do you like to be on the screen or off the screen? Ah, funny enough, off the screen. Okay. Name the most craziest thing you ever have done in your life. Stealing my mom's car. Okay. Are you the morning person or the uh, evening per- or the night person? Uh, to be honest, the night person, but I'm fighting with myself to be my morning person. Okay. Do you cook? Yes. Um, favorite type of sport? Uh, all of it. Okay. Like seriously, all of it. <laughs> okay. Uh, the first thing you do in the morning? Uh, getting up, uh, scratching my head and trying to find coffee. Okay. If you could travel today to any part of the world, what it would be? Hawaii. Okay. That's it. That was my 10th question. Well, 10 a.m. This is morning for me, but... <laughs> oh, my okay. God. This was fun, guys. You're, you're, yeah. You both look so uh, fresh. And good. I think Corona virus was a um, good thing. Let's do an interview in five days, and you will see us. <laughs> the interview is the only thing what what pushes me to put a little bit of the makeup. Otherwise, I would never get out of my okay, pajama. Let me do my job. Hold on. Uh, let's spend five more minutes and let me ask you questions. Okay. Great. Uh, let's so, do it. Sasha, do you miss the dance floor? Because I know, I know when you dance Millennium show, it was. Stressful, interesting, fun, but at the same time, uh, you come back with Peter for dancing. Do you miss competitive floor? Regardless of politics. Like, don't think Absolutely. about politics. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. What do, you miss? what do you miss the most? I miss uh, the creation that I was telling Tatiana on, on the interview that we did that the most, like, cool thing for me when I was competing was you, your partner, music, you're in the bubble and you get to create in the moment. It's not even like, yes, of course, of course, competition pushes you to be competitive in the moment and it pushes you to your maximum, but being in that bubble and sur- being surrounded by everything, the audience, the judges, da, 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 it's like makes you, I don't know, makes me stronger. I miss that. <laughs> Done. I mean, you just finished, basically. Do I miss competitive uh, No, let's, let's, let's rephrase the question for Tatiana. Will you, do you think you will miss it in a year or two? Competitions? Yes. It depends how, how often I will be doing shows, because shows were always okay. my favorite part of all of it. Mm-hmm. And uh, we're supposed to dance, like, before competitions, our shows right now because of uh, we're not able to travel we can't but if i will continue creating uh, what i love and do my shows i will be happy enough when you dance with your partners right uh what was the most you argued about because we're all arguing right so what is the most argued about while you this partners? is easy for me tatiana go for it <laughs> <laughs> well, i have i have a problem we never fight with max Max because is, there's yeah, only is one way. That's what I thought. <laughs> Max, is, Max is wrong. Uh, yeah. okay, what about the, the moment I lose it, he goes, it's the coffee time. <laughs> Let's take a break. See? He's and a like, very smart man <gasps> to know how I to know. deal with it. I know. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. What's That's the most thing we fight about is to dance slow or slower. Oh. <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> because in our, in our case, when we were competing or practicing with Peter, it's always we would do it slow because we wanted to get the most detail. So I would want to do it a little bit faster and he would want to do a little bit slower. And how slow do we do it, you know? Wow. <laughs> That's yeah. Such a personal one. And I know it might be difficult, but still. Oh, uh, oh, oh, how I many mean, questions do you have? <laughs> I, can, I, can, I, I can go all day. Uh, I'm still have so half good. Of, half, Tatiana still has, has half a battery left. So. Uh, uh, when you, like, what moved you and how did it happen when you come back to with Peter to even to practice? Because I know you guys split up and it was very difficult, you know. How did you come yeah. back? 
Well, I never wanted to I never wanted it to end. So in 2015 when we had the last Ohio, it was like a phone call from Peter one week before Ohio and he was like, "You know what? It's a hard uh time for me to continue dancing with you and to see you every day, so let's stop competing." And I agreed and we went for it, but then when it actually happened at Ohio, my heart was broken. I I really miss dancing and his heart was broken for different reasons. So it was hard for us both. And uh uh half a year later, I actually called him and um okay. yes, yeah, he he was like competing with um he already started dancing I think with Aztec somewhat and um um I called him and I was like, "Let's do it again. You know, we should come back. Let's go. We have everything we need and the first thing he asked me the first question was like what routines are we gonna do and i said peter we have so many <laughs> routines we've done for 10 years are you kidding me right now so and then um you know it's just um uh, it's a different thing every time we we see each other to practice it's like different things that moves me to do it so i don't know it's always evolves you know okay tatiana what uh one thing you you realized after you guys you stopped dancing now uh, like competitively mm -hmm. what did you realize after after when you stopped you're like oh shit i wish I, i've done it a year ago like or applied it or uh or thought like this what, um, what i don't have i didn't have that but what i regret let's say that i have uh not regret Sorry, no i had regrets. i had uh, so also certain amounts all the looks I wanted to bring to the industry, the, I, I mean, the outfits and the way I will interpret that outfit on the floor and dance differently. For example, the last competition, I was a Cleopatra, yeah, Egyptian well, actually, style. So the stuff it. like that I had in mind, I wanted to do a year of a different looks, not the classical way, like everybody expects uh, people on the top to to do but i wanted to blow people's mind and blow their expectations with that and uh, i di just didn't have enough time to uh, put all those ideas in reality but i have them in the back of my uh, head I mean, you still have shows. yes but that's different because mm -hmm. during the shows you can do whatever you want you can uh, be dressed up as a man and uh, just because it's part of a show but to dress up like a man for the competition to put you know, the whole outfit with the tail suit and then dance as a woman in it, that would be different on a competition floor. Definitely. And that's what I wish I could have done, but we just didn't have uh, time. Okay. Uh, Interesting. And I'm not sure in how many years it's going to be another person who is going to have balls to, to pull that off and then yeah, to what? do that. Well, <laughs> could you show it? Yeah. <laughs> I Meaning. see something in here. <laughs> Two balls. Uh, oh my god! Okay. Uh, Asana, I know okay. it's Let's too much. I think. Let's do one more question. Okay. Oh no! Last, no. Please, please, just one. More. Last question. Last, Last question. question. Okay. Uh, I I don't know that thing. How did Boyka ask you to marry him? Did oh, that's a good <laughs> interview, guys. Like, did you made your hair or did he shave your legs? Like, what was the procedure? <laughs> well, it's a long story, honestly. But the proposal was supposed to be in Paris. And my visa was only single entry. So I went to uh, Europe. And then I couldn't get to Paris. And, of course, I didn't know the proposal will be in Paris. But he prepared the whole proposal. He had a photographer to fly there. His favorite photographer, Freddie. Wow. And um, he did the whole photo shoot about proposing to me without me. <laughs> right? <laughs> and so um, a few That's months me. later, he proposed to me in Mexico with two photo albums. <laughs> and one was from Paris and one How was about be. us. How it could be in reality. <laughs> <laughs> yes wow, amazing. amazing so um really cool. i cried a lot and i laughed a lot and he got oh. on his knees and he was like um come on answer i'm not gonna stay on my knees for too long for you <laughs> I'm, I'm not... something like that <laughs> you know anyone. something like what boyko anyone. would say <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah so amazing. it was like funny and made me cry and anyway oh. he's amazing 
He's crazy. And a great father. We remember that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think it, it's time to wrap it up. Yes. Um, that was fun. I think it was the one of the funniest interview we had so far. Thank you very much for uh, coming closer than six feet today. Uh, and uh, we... We'll see in five days. <laughs> Show your abs, show your abs. Yeah, everybody, look at my abs one more time. Uh, we, the reason we love, because uh, me and Alexandra, we're doing the workouts um, every day on a FaceTime, and uh, we exercise, yes. Yeah, actually, I so you today don't know. is supposed to be, I think, eight or nine females. We get into that point, so we're oh. getting, like, more and more people. Golf club now. Yeah, it's fun. That's good, that's good. Have fun out there. Anything what what keeps you going, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you say hi to Babette and uh, I think she, I think, I think she can see. If I will. <laughs> I, I will say hi to Boy to keep him away from Barbies. Uh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. And we love we're gonna you gonna all. See each other soon. Yeah, we we have a workout soon actually. <laughs> yes. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. So bye bye. bye. Mm -hmm. Have a good yeah. have a good day. Exercise more. Eat less. <laughs>